It's about damn time. What's up, what's up, everybody? Today, we get to play with Christina, the light cannon girl. So few people have her. Uh, this is actually, this is not mine. Uh, this is Kevit71 from uh, Europe server. Uh, so thank you very much, Kevit, for letting us use her. We don't have, like, G3 craziness runes on her, but at least we get to uh, test her out. This is kind of a, uh, more of a mid-game account. But at least we get to test her out and see how she works, what she does, where we could possibly even consider using her. Um, so we can at least test her out. Uh, what do we have? Fire, first skill, uh, attack the enemy three times. Each ta uh, attack is a 30% chance to decrease attack bar by 30%. This could be, we can compare this to like a Hua, we can compare this to, because Hua reduces attack age. Um, and then we could also compare it to like Lauren, but it doesn't defense break with the, uh, it doesn't defense break. So, kind of nice, okay. Um, we have focus 5 shots, attacks the enemy 5 times, each attack has a 50% chance to inflict continuous damage for one turn. Uh, compare this to like Water Cowgirl uh, last skill, uh, compare this to Orochi last skill. So, it's very similar to those. Five hits, three hits, already seen it's great for Necro, right? Um, the Koi Revenge passive, I feel like the passive should be the last slot, but passive is the third slot. Increases the damage should be dealt to an enemy on next turn by 15% each time you're attacked. Uh, accumulates up to five times and resets whenever your turn ends. So, think about this is like the Fire Neostone Fighter, uh, Trevor. This is like, because he does extra damage when he's hit, when he takes some damage. This is like uh, Lydia. This is not exactly like those skills. It is similar to those skills in the fact that, like, when things get attacked, you do more damage next time you move. Uh, right? When she gets attacked, she keeps stacking uh, up to five times. So it's going to be 75% extra damage. Uh, Fire Monkey is similar. Uh, every time he gets attacked, he gains stacks. Of course, he keeps those stacks. She doesn't keep the stacks. He does keep the stacks. Um... But it's it's self buffing thing, right? So we think maybe we want to make her like not a super squishy nuker because she's going to be maybe taking some damage. That's part of her passive is she needs to be able to excuse me to take some damage. Uh, then we have rolling cannon attacks. All enemies with cannon gun damage increases portion to the number of allies alive and attack power of all allies. So this says like we run it with a YOLO like YOLO DPS team. So, where do I think we can use her? Um, let's see. Giants? Yeah, Giants. This is gonna, uh, this is gonna actually decrease the, uh, it's gonna interrupt the combo, potentially, of the Giant and the Towers. So, definitely Giants. Dragons? No. Not Dragons at all. She's got Element, new, uh, this is no and no for that. Um, and then she's just Element Disadvantage. It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be brutal. Uh, Necro, potentially she's one of the best Necro units in the game. Uh, cause she's got this for the boss, she's got this for the boss, uh, she's got this, so the boss is gonna get some turns and she's gonna burst things down. Uh, Rolling Cannon also, this would be great in a 5 DPS team, um, for Necro. So, attack power of all allies, plus the, uh, I'm gonna have a lot of attack power on there. Um, and this should do a lot of damage. So if you have like a, I want to say like a Shayna and a Huahi or something like that, I would like this is looking like it's gonna be a nice necro kind of thing, like a double shield, multiple DPS, like almost all DPS necro team. That's probably where I would uh, use this the most. Could be decent in a, because we we want this to have a, a lot of DPS with us. RTA, no. TOA, no. Maybe Arena Cleave. Maybe, uh, but then again, wouldn't you, if you need a wind unit, wouldn't you just Lucian, right? Um, that's kind of my thinking there. For Guild Wars, not really, because this damage increases according to the number of allies alive and the attack power of all allies, so I'm really not Guild Wars, we only have two allies, so. Um, and also, wouldn't you just Copper or Lucian in Guild Wars, right? Uh, so that's my thoughts, is that she's probably a... She's probably a really, really good Necro unit. She's probably a decent, uh, actually a, a pretty good uh, Giants unit. Um, and maybe an Arena Cleave unit. So let's test her out. Uh, no, I don't want to buy that. Also, it's not my account, so <laughs> no, I don't want to buy that. Let's see, um... Let's test her out with, um... Two fire units. 
You could even do that for leader skill. Let's see how much she does after they die. So we want them to die, and then we want... No, 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 no. Yeah, that's fine. We're just going to blow our skills. He's going to survive. He's going to come back anyway. Uh, but we want to do not a lot of damage with this the first time. This way we can compare it to the damage we're going to do the second time. Or I guess we could have just not taken anyone. We could have just not taken anyone. But does it say surviving allies? Or... Hold on, I need to check the skill description again. Allies alive, okay. Okay, let's see how much damage this does. Like this. Let's put this on one. Rolling cannon, what can it do? I saw 12, 16, 12 and 16, something like around there, okay. Um, and then whatever we had with the non-defense breaks, we don't care about that. Okay, so now let's take, uh, instead of these, let's take this with uh, high DPS, big damage, uh, big damage units. We don't have any leader skill we can use here. Actually, we should have tested it out with uh, not an accurate test. Not an accurate test. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Let's just not take it with anything. Yeah, let's just not take it with anything. Because I wanted, like, we, we're going to replace that with the leader skill. If not, that's not a good, uh, it's not a good test. So let's see, uh, let's see this. We did the way, way more, way more, way more, way more. It does, okay, 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 okay. So it does more damage when it doesn't, when we don't have a lot of allies. Not less damage. When, okay. Damage increases in proportion to a number of allies alive and attack power of all allies. So, more damage when we have. We did significantly more damage there. I'm trying to wrap my head around this. Hold on. Number of allies alive and attack power of all allies. Percentage of allies alive, I guess. So we had 100% of the allies alive from when we first got into the match. Uh, rather than we had 50% of the allies alive when we, um, when we tried out the first time. So it did much less damage. Okay. I think that's, I think that's what it is. It seems like that's what it is. You know what I mean? Because that's kind of, it's kind of weird way that it's phrased like we kind of have to test it out so 50% of the allies alive it did like 12 and 16,000 damage 100% of the allies alive we only had two out of two right we had two out of two out of four the first time so it's 50% alive uh two out of two the second time um and we did 20 and change so there we go I'm like trying to figure this out okay so there we go And then now we have more attack power, though. Now we have more attack power of the allies. We have the same amount of allies alive. We have 100% of our allies alive. 100%. And they have higher attack power. Okay. So I feel like it's more about the number of allies alive. And it's less about the actual attack power of the allies. Because we have now we have a lot more attack power on here. Because we have Alicia and we have... Uh, uh, Lucian, but it was mostly about the the number of allies alive. She's not doing crazy. Well, she's not doing crazy DPS with her second skill because we don't have amazing runes on here. But I'm just trying to get a feel for uh, a feel for her. So we want to make sure that the percentage of allies alive is always 
high because if the percentage value is alive is low we're gonna do less damage okay uh so let's take her in with um it's the it's not it's not really a great damage test though because we don't have like i said we don't have um we don't have everything uh maxed right we don't have amazing runes on uh because we don't have this is not like a gt account or anything so i really feel like she's gonna be the best place for her is gonna be necro i mean we could take her into giants sure she's gonna be great for giants but a lot of things are great for giants right i think the real place she's gonna be most used is necro and i wonder like the water one is good for necro too but I wonder if maybe we need more from a net 5 then. Not that she's bad, just that she's... Like, we have other units that are good too for Necro. So, is she like super crazy exciting is my question. And I'm not sure that she is one of the more super crazy exciting ones. Good for here, but I mean, would I take her into RTA? Would I take her into RTA? Could she be viable in RTA? Like, I mean, of course, not like top 1% of RTA, top 5% of RTA, but I mean, could she be useful in like mid game RTA? Can she even. Now we're gonna lose Giants. Well, she's so good in. She's so good in Giants. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. No, no, no. Let's try that again. What even went wrong? I was too busy thinking. Thinking requires 175% of my brain power. Would I use her in RTA? I don't think that I would use her in RTA. I'm trying to think like if I had her in my account, like for a, a lulz video, for a funsies video, maybe, but it would be painful, I think. Would I use her in a necro team? Like if if she if I had her on my alt, I would probably try to build a 45 second necro team around her that's probably the the place that i would use her and maybe that's it though i could probably i could probably build a 45 second necro team with her but oh we need a defense break please we need a defense break please oh morris just got a paladin we also need an attack power but is this galleon fully skilled I don't know if this galleon is fully skilled. He might not be fully skilled. Is galleon fully skilled? No, he's not fully skilled. Okay. I thought I was going crazy. He's not fully skilled. Um, let's go for this one. So this is... I mean, we could just even... I mean, I, I don't know about this account. I don't know about being able to do it on this account, but we could uh, YOLO more. I feel like she's, I feel like she she has a place in a, like a 45 second Necro team. I feel like that's where I would use her. Cause she can clear waves with that. And then she could also, like Lucian can clear waves too, but Lucian sucks at the boss, where she would still be good at the boss, right? So that's what I'm thinking. I could definitely see her in a 45 second necro team. But aside from that, like, would I use her in Guild War Offense? Probably not. Um, Guild War Offense or Guild Siege Offense. Maybe I would use her in Guild Siege Offense if I was like, just I didn't have other stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess we could just stick her in there. But probably not. I, I probably wouldn't. I could just see, I, I think Necro is the place for her. But does that warrant her being a net 5? I don't know that it does. Also, uh, the speed tuning on this is not correct. So right now, who do we have going first? She's going first. She shouldn't be going first. Chilling is going second. Shouldn't be going second. Um, Colleen and Shayna should be going first and second, and then everyone else. That should be the turn order. Because this is already... It's slowing the whole rundown by having the turn order wrong.
I could see I could see her being in a in a 45 second. Again, saying the same thing again. But I feel like that's that's what I would use her for. We could try taking her into uh, arena offense. But I feel like she's I feel like she's in neck arena. I don't feel like she's for I just don't get the feeling. Do you guys do you guys disagree with me? I just don't get the feeling that she's for also Hooray, she's dead. Uh, I don't get the feeling that she's for um, PvP. I think she's mainly just a mainly just a necromancer. Are we gonna die? She's a necro unit that dies in necro. We don't have good enough uh, good enough runes on her though. That's why she's dying in necro. And she's on she's on swift. And the speed uh, the the turn order is wrong. So. But I could see that being the place that uh, that she was used to. But anyway, uh, that's Christina. That's just a. I don't want to do a super crazy long video about like Christina, like oh here and there and everywhere. Also, these skills are in the wrong spot. Like, did you see when we were in the battles? Like the skills, like the rolling cannon is on the left. I feel like she's an afterthought. Like I feel like she's like Comptress is like. Someone said, "Hey, you, make a new monster." No, let's make her a five star. Why? Don't worry about it. Just make her a five star, and she's good for Necro. But so are the twins. So is a lot of stuff. Is good for Necro. Does that make her a good five star? I don't. Again, I sound like a broken record, but um, cool unit. I don't know that she would necessarily get a buff buff. I think she might get a tweak to skills to make her usable in other places. I could see her possibly getting tweaked a little bit or maybe not tweaked then she'll just be a necro unit but i feel like that's uh necro and giants is where i would where i would see her being used because you can't really use this uh, like for toa what are you going to do for t like this is this is good for toa that's a good first skill for toa continuous damage on bosses that's not going to work and you don't really care about single target continuous damage for toa floors queer revenge you don't want to get attacked in toa anyway rolling can also there's a lot of good toa units already we want these nat fives to be good for pvp and maybe maybe a cleave team, like a shield will cleave team, she could be used with. But wouldn't you just Lucian though? I would just Lucian instead of doing this. It's just easier and there's less nonsense to worry about, kind of. Yeah, Christi yeah, Christina. Um. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, in the comments below, uh, of course, and th th thank you again, uh, Kevet71, for letting us use her. I know it's not like a super crazy uh, OP account; it's, it's a mid-game account, but um, but at least we got to we got to see her. So we can't see her true damage output just yet. Uh, I'm sure she'll do a lot of damage. I just think that she's mostly for, like I said again, I would try to build a 45-second necro team with her. If this was my alt, or or even my main. I would stick her in Necro, and that might be the only place I really use her. So. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to say, but I kind of feel like I want to... That's my opinion. So, as horrible as it is. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you again, Kevin, for letting us use her. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Probably didn't. You're probably like, ugh. Bagel. Videos. Anyway, I'll see you as always in the next one.